If you're a user of VS Code or any similar IDE, you're probably familiar with IntelliSense, a code completion feature that shows suggestions as you type. Until now, this feature hasn't really been available in the terminal. What you can do is tab to autocomplete, but you kind of need to know what you want to type, and it's nowhere near as feature-rich as IntelliSense. Fig, available since November of last year at fig.io, is an app ecosystem for the terminal. And their first app you can use today is called Autocomplete. They describe it as a modern IntelliSense for your interactive shell. And once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. Okay, so once you've installed Fig, you'll see up here that you actually have a Fig icon uh, up the top of your screen if you're using a Mac. Uh, the app Autocomplete is what is currently installed. So you can see that is uh, ticked there. And then we have a few more options here like support guide uh, settings, uh, integrations, etc. So my terminal integrations, I have it set up for terminal, VS Code, and iTerm. Uh, I'm currently in iTerm here, so I'm just gonna show you quickly some of the things that you can do with it. So I'm inside of Scripter, which is an app that I've built recently using Remix. Uh, I'll probably do a video on that soon, uh, explaining what I've built and what it's for. But I'm just gonna start by showing you what it's like to navigate the file structure with fig autocomplete enabled. So inside of Scripter, I can do CD, and then you can see that fig is now telling me these are the folders you can actually CD into. So I can actually navigate using the arrow key on my keyboard, and I can say navigate into app and hit enter, and then it tells me again what's in here, and I don't have to actually type to guess. Whereas if I was using the normal terminal, I would kind of have to type, you could press tab, which it then will show a list of the available paths, but this is so much easier. Uh, and then you just press enter once you want to do that. So I'm going to also uh, navigate out and it starts to tell you what is in these directories. And we've gone further now, we've gone outside of the scripter directory so we can see the different apps that I've got in this folder. Um, so I'm going to go back into scripter. And so that's navigating. Autocomplete also supports uh, Git and other third party CLI tools. So I'll start off with Git and I'll show you quickly. Git, uh, and now it's starting to tell me these are the commands that I have with Git. So of course you have push, and it tells you how to complete the actual full push command. So you start by naming the remote repository, and then of course the branch. I also have some aliases that I've set up in my Git config, and really nicely they also show up here. So CLB is my shortcut for check out new branch. Um, so you can scroll down here, and if you've forgotten the commands that you wanna run, you can just literally uh, scroll down with your arrow and go, oh yeah, of course I wanna check out. And then it tells you, well, what do you wanna check out? And you can scroll down and you can check out folders, you can check out different branches. So I don't actually have any other branches in this Scripter app. So if I go to um, a different app that I have called Neptune, and I'm on a different branch here. So if I do git checkout, and now I have a whole lot of branches here that I can choose from. So um, it's nice to be able to see the different branches that I have available for me to check out. Scroll down here and we have some uh, flags that we can add to the git checkout command. So inside of Neptune, uh, I'm, I'm using Firebase. So I have a Firebase CLI tool. And so I type in Firebase and again, all the different commands come up here for Firebase. And so this is all the stuff that I can do with it. It's kind of a nice way to see the sort of things you can do. And then you can look up the commands in the documentation if you're not sure what they actually do. I can go back into uh, Scripter here. And inside of Scripter, I'm using Prisma as an ORM. Um, so if I, let's say I wanted to start the uh, Prisma Studio, but I've forgotten the command. I know it's Prisma something or other. Um, I'm using Prisma through NPX, by the way. So I do NPX, Prisma, and then I can see, oh, I've got DB, I've got format, generate, init, introspect, and there, there's Studio. So if I wanna start Prisma Studio, I can just uh, hit that and then hit enter again, and it starts Prisma Studio. Fig's backbone is Fig.js, which they say will be available soon as a public API. This means that anyone can build apps for the terminal with Fig. I've also heard that they are currently working on some pretty cool features, so watch this space. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.